Is it like a kick in the teeth to put it bluntly? Yeah, ridiculous result. Yeah. Uh, you must be frustrated. At, I've seen you with the fourth official times in second half. You've got to be frustrated because we're frustrated. You've got to be frustrated at that. Which bit? Which bit are you talking about? I know. Uh, they're 29, she never went on field to play. Yeah. On Saturday, our player got sent off. Today, their player stopped on. It's fine lines and it's wrong lines, isn't it? You want consistency? Yeah, yeah it's fine lines on everything, though. It's uh, mm. uh, quasi inside of the post to make it 2 0. Mm. I don't think Carl's had a save to make. And they've scored two in the second half. Um, second goals are shambles from us because you don't get caught in the counter attack there. Just told the lads there, no insight in terms. It, you, you come away with a minimum of point because mm. we, you can dominate the game without having the ball, so you can have the momentum of the game without having the ball. Mm. And we did that. It was working perfectly. Um, really, it should be more than one at half time with the chances again we've had. Um, so we've done really well. We knew they would come flying out the blocks. We sustained them kept them in front, they didn't really cause us any problems first 15, 20 minutes. We knew they were going to have a reaction from, from Saturday mm. um, and it was working swimmingly and then they've obviously got the first one, I need to see it back again, but uh, rebound goal and um, we've reacted really well to that goal, come back into it. Marcus Denang has come on and looked really dangerous um, with Guazi up top and we've created two or three clear cut chances and haven't taken them and you come away with a point like at that stage um, you, you take your medicine you say okay then it wasn't our night to win it you come away with a minimum of a, a point but um, obviously a frailty before I came in was last minute goals mm. and uh, that's happened there so maybe I needed to see some sort of frailty because I haven't seen one yet since I've been in so it's good I'm learning learning a lot learned a lot about the group again tonight and it is a kick in the teeth they're really down in there because they've given their all but it goes back again that we're playing two games in three days and we've had ten days off. Should never happen. The game shouldn't happen. And they would beat a good side at our place and a good side beat at their place. But we should have got at least a point tonight, shouldn't we? Yeah, at least. I feel yeah. that anyway. Yeah, at least. Yeah, you're right with your opinion there. In my opinion, I, sh I share your opinion there. It's uh, it's a point minimum. But for me, um, we should be playing the game. Yeah. Forced into a corner to play the game and I'm disappointed because yeah. it showed in the second half there. I've had to make quick substitutions because we lost legs quite quickly in the second half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was too much for Tom. Uh, Tom had to come off there. So, mm. um, yeah, but um, like I said, we've, I'm happy with the performance. Yeah, in the first half, uh, Tom's had it. You'd have put money on him sticking that one away, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, again, I can't tell you, had a chance. Tom wheeling shot, Saturday went in, today yeah. it went over the bar. Yeah. The run from the Santi second half when they beat five players, yeah. hit the ball sublime. Yeah. Two inches further than been in, wasn't it? Yeah, and Curtis Weston's obviously missed the one yeah. on one. So yeah. it's, um, there's what, five chances there. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you can have all the ball in the world, it's how productive mm -hmm. you are with it. And we were really productive with our ball work today. When we had the ball, we, we created chances, mm -hmm. different types of chances, deliveries, um, knockdowns and shots, uh, Curtis Weston one-on-one, -on -one, Quasi's dribble, so that's pleasing, there's loads of positives, um, it's disappointing to, to lose the game, I would have been disappointed drawing it, but to lose it is a real kick in the teeth, you're quite right in your first yeah. sentence. As a manager, it's your first defeat for Jessica, how, how do you take it, you know, you're, I mean you're good tonight and sleep yourself, but you know, it was your first defeat, how are you taking it? Yeah, I'll take it fine, we'll come yeah. in, we'll bounce in on Thursday, we've got plenty to be positive about. Um, excuse the pun because obviously the times uh, positive mindset um, what I just said to the lads it's it's now a test because we've got a, we've got a quick turnaround to Bromley away which is no easy feat either um, but we'll be ready I can assure you and um, the lads are disappointed but that's part and parcel of the football it happens what's disappointing is obviously Manny's stepped forward it's bounced out for the counter attack Manny's gone forward and left 2v2 um, wrong decision and obviously Hayden's been caught one on one wide where the delivery would come in Hayden will be heading that out so um and obviously Carl's just had it, held his hands up there because he should be saving the head up. So, you know, that's, that's great that they're holding their hands up and mm. they'll learn. But um, we'll learn as a group. We'll bounce back. Mm. Uh, quick turnaround Thursday, sharp training session Friday and um, we're, we're into Bromley. You brought the two guys in this tea time. You shocked us again. Two players on yeah. match day. What do you think them two can bring to, to the team? Jack you Clark, think they yeah. can, yeah. Jack Clark, I've watched for a while, come through the youths at Aston Villa. Outstanding technical mm. player. Um, needs some confidence in a run of games and, and somewhere where he can be loved in, a, in an adult environment, in a first team environment. That's what we're going to give him, so we're going to give him that platform. Uh, and Marcus obviously scored a lot of goals before he's moved to Stevenage. Hasn't quite got the game time he wanted in his set position as a nine. Uh, that's mm -hmm. his main position, he's been playing mainly wide, so he'll come in and I think he showed there he's good in the air. He's mobile, he worked hard for the team and he, him and Kwasi caused problems together as a partnership for that half an hour there. I actually know Marcus played for a friend of mine at Matlock, Craig and Glenn, he's come with a glowing reference 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. He wants to force to score goals, and, and I thought the header for the goal was a, was a great header from Tom. Mm. Unfortunately, two more players in meant Scott Bowen and Joe Rowan are not here tonight. Is that just resting him with games uh, coming to third place? Well, yeah, we've got to rotate it. Like I said a, a week ago when I came back in and after mm. our, our break, we've got to rotate it now. We've got to be fresh. We've got to make sure we go in as fresh as we can to Bromley, but also make sure we've got some experience instilled down the spine of the team. So you take it on the chin, move forward of course. as a as a manager. Yeah, of course. Yeah. My first Still defeat. smiling. Yeah, it's my first defeat as a manager. Yeah, I haven't lost, so it's my first defeat this season. And that's part and parcel of it. Mm. It's uh, we'll bounce back. Uh, everything will be done properly with the staff. I've got behind me fantastic staff, and you know we'll bounce back. It's, it's part of it. We're going to lose a game, and we're going to lose another game some stage. Mm. Um, but we'll, we'll build some momentum. It's about getting back that momentum as quickly as possible and make sure it's not back to back losses. I think what it proves since the time you've been here, uh, we've stood toe to toe with a decent side, and we've beat them here in ABC. We've stood, we've matched them over two games, which proves how far we've come since you've been here. Does not. To the other incumbents, we've probably lost about 10 games. Yeah, I, I don't want so to comment. But yeah. you know what I mean, though? Yeah, I do, yeah, Tell us how far we've come under you. Yeah, OK, well, that's, mm. that's, thank you for saying that. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'm not looking behind or backwards, no. I'm looking forwards. Yeah. And uh, I'm pleased with uh, the back end of the ball so far, mm. with Marcus coming in and obviously Jack mm. as well. Um, we're, we're building a, a good, various uh, squad of variation. We've got young bud, we've got legs. Uh, we've got experience, and that's why I'm disappointed about the last goal without experience on the pitch. Don't get caught like that. As you sat there in the war sign, you said, No, so I'm not asking you again. Not at the moment. <laughs> not at the moment. <laughs> you said that, sadly. <laughs> uh, James, you brought in uh, Joseph Yarny. How do you think he did today? Yeah, he critiqued himself well. I thought he grew into the game uh, against a good, experienced flyer on the left in Cranston. Um, didn't, Cranston didn't cause us really many problems, so probably that, that answers the question. Spoken a lot about having to play Solihull twice in, uh, in three days. Was was it pressure from sort of Solihull forcing you into this game, or was it the National League? Or I don't want to comment on that. All I know is that the shenanigans leading into this game is unacceptable, and uh, it showed in the second half. We lost legs a little bit. I made quick substitutions for that reason. Um, to play uh, two games in, in three days um, when there's other teams that have got uh, more games in hand to catch up. And also to play the same team twice in three days is, is unheard of. I've never known it in football. Never known a, a team to play back to back in any season at any level. So uh, while we're doing that, I don't know.